Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. I could not get that card to land on there today. Oh my gosh. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I have a really exciting, <laughs> I have a really exciting unboxing to share with you guys. And I've just been like, I want to get into this, but I have to do my intro and I just could not get that freaking thing to land. Ah, uh, this box was sent by Flytanium. Yeah, I mean, just making sure that it's only on one side there. And uh, there's some super cool stuff, and uh, what I'm gonna do with it is gonna be super interesting. I'm gonna do it all in this video. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Ugh, that freaking card is gonna be the death of me. People ask me if I have I got a uh, compilation set up with missed card throws. Yeah, yeah, I've got about 50 clips so far. Um, I'll put that together for you guys. Awesome. <laughs> they asked me about my shirt size. So, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, cool. I will, I will definitely, uh, rock this. If you don't know who Flytanium is, Flytanium makes, uh, aftermarket scales and parts for some of the most popular models out there. In this case, we actually have two different, uh, uh sets of scales for Spyderco knives. The first ones here are really, I will link uh, Flytanium stuff right down in the description, by the way, so you can pick this stuff up. But uh, these are my Carta scales that are contoured and made for the Spyderco PM2, and I will be installing um, those for you guys today. And then, <laughs> the thing that I'm truthfully the most, or the scales that I'm most excited about, these are uh, Spyderco Shaman scales that are carbon fiber, and those look excellent. What am I going to be doing with those? Uh, don't you, you have the titanium? Well, I thought, now that it's, you know, that this is uh, well announced and whatever, by the time you guys will see this, I thought maybe I would install them on my uh, River's Edge Cutlery exclusive Spider Co. Shaman, which, depending on when you're watching this video, might still be, and I'll link it down below if I can, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, I thought those might look really good considering this Shaman has black hardware, black liners, black backspacer, right? So, yeah, I think, um, what I'll do here, let me get out my PM2, which has been rocking the booger scales for way too long. I think what I'll do is go ahead and customize both of these in hyperlapse right here for you guys with some music. And, um, yeah, I, I think, uh, I think this might uh, be really, really fun. So, Without further ado, let's go ahead and get the scales put on both of these knives.
Okay, that was uh, <laughs> that was really fun. It's my it, the PM2 took a little bit. I <laughs> so what happened is uh, and this can happen to anybody. In fact, I remembering it uh, happened. I, I remember, I remembering it. I remember it happening to me another time when I took it apart. This time it wasn't the lanyard uh, barrel thing. That was actually, that's a titanium lanyard barrel from Flytanium that comes in and out really easily. They didn't, they, that was part of my, you know, PM2 already along with the backspacer. That was already there. Um, so this thing is really Flytaniumed out right now. But uh, I was trying to jam the D-shaped pivot barrel into the wrong side of the D-shaped liner. And I was like, why isn't this fitting? What is happening? Uh, yeah. So, and then I was like trying to put it together and I forgot, you know, you, you really should screw down the backspacer on one side so that it actually stays together while you're trying to put it together. So it just took a little bit, but gosh, it went together beautifully. It's very smooth. I mean, a lot of that is thanks to the 10 weight nano oil I was using. Uh, this stuff, fantastic. There's a reason that everybody talks about it. Um, but yeah, this is great. The PM2 looks way better now, but I, I think the shining gem of this uh, video at least for me, is the uh, River's Edge Cutlery Shaman here in this FDE PVD coated 204P blade. Um, yeah, the combination of this and the black, now I'm not saying that I don't like the OD Green scales. I think OD Green looks fine with uh, the, the FDE or the flat dark earth finish, right? But man, I have a, I, I've got a thing for bronze and black. So the carbon fiber and the black liners and the black hardware, the black pocket clip, everything just looks great. To my surprise, even this thing is smooth. That FDE surface is very chalky. So I was like, eh, it's never gonna feel quite right. But look at this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the 10 weight really helps with that, but it came together centered and it's locking up solid. I mean, I can't. I couldn't ask for a better outcome. It's, this is great. Flytanium stuff fits really well. I have been buying Flytanium stuff and modding my gear with it forever, since way before the channel. Um, I used to have a full tie S110 VPM2 that I used to, that was the one that I EDC'd. And those were from Flytanium, however long ago. These pieces fit together ridiculously well. Uh, you can see here, just showing off the shaman a little bit, you can see there, everything is just fitting in fantastic. I mean, everything is very snug, too. Uh, really great. Uh, everything. Here, I'll get, give you guys a look here at the uh, Micarta uh, PM2 there. Really, really nice. I'm really happy with the fitment on everything here. I just, man, Flytanium, thank you. Uh, like I said, I'll link this stuff, and you guys should check out everything that uh, Flytanium's got right now. Um, they do a ton of different scale options, including, of course, micarta, carbon fiber, brass, copper, titanium. I think they do some different G10 mods for tons of the uh, popular models that we all like. Um, so, yeah, check out the links down in the description if you want to do that with your own knives. Um, I'll link the Shaman and the PM2 uh, down below as well, because you'll have to actually buy those knives first and then mod them yourselves. It's not really that hard, especially if you're working with the Shaman. I will tell you, getting the uh, initial scale and lanyard barrel off of the PM2 can kind of be a nightmare. So if you can get your hands on a uh, titanium lanyard barrel to replace the probably destroyed lanyard barrel, honestly, after you get it off of there, because it's lipped, uh, yeah, I would recommend buying the titanium lanyard barrel for the PM2 and the Para 3, any of the uh, American Spider or any of the Spider Co's that use the lanyard barrels if Flytanium makes them. Uh, that makes, at least when you put it together, uh, again, it makes everything fit together and nothing looks like garbage. So, anyways, I think that's going to be pretty much it. This was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and subscribe, because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.